we're going to be talking about the detail work that I do on my feathers. I've had a big call for that. So here we're just going to be drawing out the feather. Um, I start with my spine of the feather, I guess. I guess it wouldn't be a, I don't know what it's called. But anyway, it's fine. And then we, I come in and I just kind of try to get the basic shape of this feather. Um, I like to put some splits in it. You know, a feather, each fiber is supposed to be attached to the next and keep it in hold. But I kind of give it a little bit of, little bit of chaos there and just kind of separate some parts and then have some of the lower ones kind of separated a little bit. And I'm drawing this feather with just an 8B graphic art pencil. Um, you can you can buy these graphite pencils at Hobby Lobby or wherever. Now I'm just going to wet this piece of leather down just a little bit. And uh, you can see there, I've just kind of sprayed it real quick for this for this deal, and then get that feather carved. Um, and I don't erase any of the lead. I have a lot of call asking about what I do and why, or what I how I get rid of the lead on there. I, I don't really worry about it. Um, by the time I'm done with the project, you've wet that piece of leather down so much, you've wiped oil on it, you've wiped antique on, and then wiped it off, and Okay, by the time you get done, the lead's gone. So um, if you're worried about it, you can take just a clean white eraser and just erase. Um, just like you would on a piece of paper, it'll come right off. So we've got our feather carved right there. I'm going to go ahead and bevel this feather and get all the beveling done uh, just to save a little bit of time in this video. And so as soon as I get that beveling done, then we'll be right back with the beveled feather. So here we are with the feather all beveled up. Um, I'm using a tool from Peter Main. It's just a, uh, a modeling tool. He does a really good job of making them. I really, really like that tool. Um, I think they're 40 bucks or something. And I've already leaf lined this feather. So there's already, the just like you would a normal leaf or anything else, running your leaf liner down that spine. And now I'm just going to take the sharper end of that modeling tool and just start scratching the actual feather face and just... And I'm going in arcing motions coming out of the spine towards the edge and try to think of a real feather. Those fibers point in a curvature kind of upward towards the, the tip of the feather. And so I'm going to kind of give them all those little lines that kind of upward motion gradually working their way to the point of the feather or the very tip of the feather. And so that's what I'm doing there is just I'm just scratching the surface, just trying to get a little texture so that it doesn't look smooth. That's the biggest deal is just trying to keep it from looking too smooth on there um, and then giving it that appearance of little bitty fibers coming out from the spine. I'm just going to scratch and scratch all these in there. Um, you don't have to get real deep or real crazy. Let your hand kind of flow. Just, just do it real lightly, um, enough to leave an impression, but not enough to really damage the grain of the leather. Um, and I just kind of go until I think it's got enough texture to it. Uh, there's really no right or wrong way I don't think to do it. Some people may have a different way of giving it this look. But as you can see that feather doesn't look smooth and that's what we want. Um, you don't, There's no pear shading done or anything like that or at least I don't and so you got to do something to give it some texture. And now with the uh, with the swivel knife I'm just going to go through and cut this and I'm cutting very very close to the edge. As you can see I'm almost laying off the very tip of, or the very edge of my bevel lines and I'm doing that because I'm trying to give it the impression that those little fibers are wanting to separate from the ones next to them um, and that's what I'm doing there is just trying to give it that not so smooth hard line it's not a, a feather shape that is not a line there it's the end of many lines coming perpendicular to that in an upward cur curve so that's what I'm trying to do and as I'm cutting those I'm coming in that same arc I'm using those scratches as a guide as far as what curve I should do these in and so that's what we're going with there and then I'm just giving it some little flicks here and there just some real arbitrary random little cuts in there and as you can see that gives it a lot of life looking right there and it gives that feather a, a more lifelike feel and doesn't look like a hard beveled object just in a piece of leather. Um, there's probably many a techniques to make this better or, you know, do it better. Um, it's just that's the technique that works for me. I'm constantly working on changing that. But anyway, give that a shot. Uh, if you got any questions, email me. Um, I've got some patterns on the website that do have feathers incorporated into them. It's like belts and stuff like that. So um, check that out. 
Go to dgsaddlery.com and check those out if you get a chance. I appreciate it, and we'll try to do some more of these videos in the future.